What's up everybody, Y Davis here, back with another review. Tell me showing you guys the easy foam runner, Carbon. All right, guys, this is dropped on the first drop of Yeezy Day Part 2. Today, they actually did the Part 2 of Yeezy Day Part 2, where they dropped the Knit Runners and the Core Reds. I did a review on the Knit Runners already, not the one that came out, but I did reviews on them. If you guys are wondering about sizing, I did a full size up and a full size and a half up. Also did a review on the Core Reds. All right, so you guys can go check those videos out. Those raffles are live right now, so you can't enter them at the time of this recording, but hopefully you guys win. Yeezy Day Part 2 has not been good to me at all. I haven't been hitting on anything. Today was the first time I hit on something on Yeezy Day Part 2, which was the Knit Runners and the Onyx Colorway. But I'm gonna be reviewing this for you guys. I don't have a size nine, I don't have a size 10. So I had to go with the size 11 just to show you guys this shoe. So the sizing tips, I won't know for sure because I don't have it in a size 10 and size nine. So um, I won't really be able to compare it unless I get a better size. But let's get right into it guys. I know you guys have been asking me, am I gonna review the 450 slide? Still trying to find a size for a good price. But um, you know what, I have some unreleased Yeezys to show you guys very, very soon to make up for everything that I've been missing out on. And to be honest with you guys, I'm just gonna have to stop playing fair. Nobody else plays fair. So you know what I mean? It's time for me to start doing stuff early before the stuff drops. And I think you guys will like that as well. So make sure you guys stay tuned. Make sure you guys hit that notification bell because I will be having some unreleased Yeezys on the channel very, very soon. My Yeezy Day Part 2 was trash, but let me know what happened on your side in the comments box below. All right, but this is a box right here, normal box, light skin box, as you guys can see, size 11 on the front right here. Okay, these did come from the Confirm app, so this is what you should be expecting. If you get these off the aftermarket, you know, they might have a little bit of different branding and things like that, so I can't really tell you what to do if you ask me in the DMs later on, but this is what the box looked like, all right? Just in case you guys didn't know that. All right, but open up top of the box, it says foam right there. And it's crazy how these shoes look like the Onyx colorway. Um, it's really crazy. Like in the camera, you may be able to tell that it's a gray, but in person when they're next to each other, or if you just have this one in your hand by itself, this thing looks exactly like that shoe. Actually, let me grab it real quick. So I'm gonna show you guys all sides right here, the inside and just look out and just look at how evenly matched they look. All right, so on the inside, that's what it looks like compared on the outside, looking from the front and looking from the back of the shoe right here, guys. So it's crazy how identical these shoes look. But this is the shoe right here, guys. What do you think about these? A copper drop for you guys. Retail on this is 80 bucks. Current resale, you know, it's the best time to be a sneaker lover. It's only $120 right now, guys. You cannot beat that price. So I, I would say grab it now because, you know, once these come out, supposedly they're not coming back out again on the Yeezy app. You know, once they sell out all the Yeezy, supposedly they're moving away from it. They're not going to, you know, sell it anymore. So we'll see what happens. You know what I mean? When dollar signs come in at the end of the quarter, but this is the shoe right here. Show you guys the outside of the shoe right here. We already seen this shoe. We already know what it looks like, but I'm going to show you guys real quick before we get into the sizing. Same thing on the inside. Okay you guys the back of the shoes real quick all right now on the inside of the shoe here we do get sizing stickers on the inside of the shoe all right and the production dates on this was 922 and i'm gonna show you guys that real fast i also did hit on finish line app today they have a lot of stuff going on now that i think about it i'm also hit on the nike shock drop for the midnight dunks um right before at two o'clock today so a lot of stuff was going on today i know i dropped like two or three videos today as well so you know it's been a real busy day inside of the shoe on both shoes it does tell you the size and that these shoes were made in china if you guys were wondering we also get a tag on the left shoe i'm gonna show you guys the tag right here and that's pretty much gonna do it for this shoe guys all right now i'm gonna show you guys my foot is in the toe box right now Okay guys, so this is what they look like on feet. Pretty clean in my opinion. Now I'm a true size nine, but normally in Yeezy Foam Runners, I like to go full size up. Now they're, the sizing on these have been all over the place. Um, this is a size 11, and as you guys can see, it looks like it fits me, but when I push my feet all the way to the top of the shoe, as you guys can see there, I have a lot of space. So in my opinion, you know, go at least a full size up on these. Don't go true to size unless you like a snug fit and you just want to break them in. But in my opinion, do go up a full size. If I ever do get a size 10 or a size 9, I will definitely review it and tell you guys about the sizing tips. But honestly, guys, they feel like my sands do. Um, and this is a size 11. So, I mean, this is a brand new shoe, though. So, you know how, you know, once you start walking it in and things like that, they will start to open up and whatnot. So definitely do not go two sizes up. <laughs> so, um, in my opinion, go full size up. And I'll show you guys what these legs and pants options right now.
Okay, guys, hope you guys like this video. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, show your boy some love, and stay tuned.